Hello, I'm Claudia Skill, a Cartoon Art teacher from Coloray Arts. We always need a piece of paper to make some notes, to-do lists, grocery list, and others, right? And I don't know, but for some reason we never find that piece of paper when we need. So, uh, what I will be showing in this video is a beautiful and functional piece that will have fun with paper, fabric, and glue and we will you know, end up with a clever piece for you or a great gift. I made, I made like a few of them for myself and I have like one in the kitchen, another one on my desk, okay, so they are so helpful. It's a cover for notepad, post-it, tabs or whatever you want to put in it. And it will be a great and beautiful solution. So make as many as you want and you will always find that piece of paper when you need, okay? Plus, if I tell you it will be quick and easy to make, that will be even better, right? So if you like this idea, stay here with me because more than that, I will be giving lots of tips on covering those pieces with fabric or for the first, first time in my videos, I will be showing how, to, how you can cover using pattern papers. Sounds fun? Yes, I love it. It's a lot of fun. The materials are very simple. You need two pieces of chipboard, a little bigger than the notepads you will be using, and a small piece for this pine. A small pieces of poster board and craft paper, or even construction or copy paper. Some tool to cut the chipboard, or if you prefer, you can contact me for a pre-cut kit. Then scissors, rotary cutter, and cutting mat and ruler. The cartonage tools, corner miter tool, and the spacers are very helpful, but they are optional. The link to find them is in the description of the video. And to cover your piece, grab your favorite fabric, and if you prefer, you can also use your favorite pattern paper. In this video, I will show you how to make one using fabric, and another option mixing fabric and pattern paper. I will use glue all from Elmer's and to spread the glue we will need roller paint and paintbrush. We also need masking tape. If you prefer you can use an acid free glue of your preference like Lenaco Neutral and grab also a heavy book. More than that you will need the notepads, post-its, whatever you want to add to this cover. I will add some links in the description of the video but check your office supply store and you will find lots of ideas. Okay, then let's see all the details about this notepad cover, okay? And I'm so excited because, as I said, I love this project, it's so functional. Uh, let's start, you know, from the very beginning. You have to figure out what you want to use for, okay? Because let me show you a few options. Uh, this is all covered in fabric, okay, outside and inside just fabric. Here I use two fabrics on the outside and inside I have one notepad that is uh, 4x6 and I decided to put the another small one you know that's colored okay so I made two pockets inside and my pads are you know uh, attached there okay in this one that is also all covered in fabric I did one uh, side with the pad again you know the same notepad it's four by six and here i decided just to use for post-its i use so many post-its i never can find them so i just glue the post-its right here and what's happened when i finish then i can just re-glue put another one okay i just noticed that this is not something that i can be carrying a lot some because you know some post-its will stay here for a long time and i noticed some of the brands of post-its I have no idea why they just fell off and I have to glue again, you know, but it works very fine. So this is another idea. So that, oh, and this is another one. So here I put the notepad there and here is another one. Let me remove it. So it's in the other direction. So I made my pocket in the other direction and I put here. This is this is the kind of piece, one of the pieces I will be making today. Here it's a mixed project. I have fabric and I have pattern paper okay so yes then what why I said that because we need to figure out what we want to put inside and then we're gonna be um, designing our cover so uh, let's start from there 
my pad is four by six then I will need two pieces of chipboard two pieces of chipboard that will be a little bigger than what I want to put inside so in this case I have my chipboard uh, six and a half inches by four and a half okay so it's half an inch bigger around than the the pad so it's four by six and this is four and a half by, by six and a half Good. so I need two pieces of this okay and then I need two pieces for the if you are covering with fabric then we need two pieces of poster board okay and in this case I did a little bit smaller than my smaller than my cover and a little bit bigger than this so I have six one fourth by four one fourth okay and I have two and if you want the pockets then you can do whatever size you want but it must match there so it's four one fourth and let me tell you I cut mine uh, three and one eighth three and a weight of fun each okay so those are the pieces we need and for the spine that's the piece right I need one piece of craft paper that will be used in the spine and you'll see later it's just a piece of craft paper like this here it's three and a half by seven and a half okay don't need to be exactly like that but the tip here is how to know the spine so if you want to use it for two notepads like I did one each side or one notepad with post-its on the side that are about the same um, the same wide put them together like I, I'm doing here and then measure this okay and then you discover your spine okay so that's another piece of chipboard that is the spine of my book in my tests here I found out that I spine around 5 eighths of an inch or 1.7 centimeters is a good option but I do recommend you to test with what you want to put because really different notepads can have different thickness test what you want to put inside like this you can really make your own cover for whoever you want to use it okay very good and then, then let's start building our cover okay uh, well this is something that we, I did a lot of time in some videos so let's just go and jump and do it okay here is my piece number one that is one of the sides of my cover I just passed glue here and again as I said before the, on the materials I'm using glue all from Elmer's white PVA glue okay if you prefer to use your favorite acid free glue feel free okay I'm just this is just a personal opinion and preference and I'm okay using uh, glue all okay then I pass glue I put the craft paper right there okay then you flip this over I have this then to make the space between the cover and the spine I'm gonna be using my uh, spacer that is six millimeters it's about one fourth okay and the other one goes on top like this okay so I have kind of a T and I have my spine in this case I'm gonna be applying the glue all over this piece is very small piece okay so it makes more sense for us to apply glue all over the piece there and then just put it right here okay in this part so what I'm having now I have exactly they are straight and neat and they have one fourth you know in between then I can remove my spacer and I can see I have kind of too much uh, craft paper here I don't need that much so I can just go ahead and cut a little bit okay and then let me glue the other piece number one so I'm gonna spread the glue right there and just just like the white of my brush okay forgot to put my spacers in place <laughs> six millimeters on the side again the another one there the 15 uh, millimeters there and just put in place and press cut 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 okay guys so now I have extra uh, I have here extra cheap uh, craft paper so we can just go and cut like this okay so now this is the um, 
this is the like the outside of my cover okay and I will just go now I'm talking about covering with fabric first okay it's gonna be quick and then I go to the mixed project with fabric and paper So I have one covered in fabric right here to show you, okay, uh, I already did. So here is something very important, the first tip, okay, uh, when I'm covering in fabric, that part here with the gaps, that is the front of my cover, here is the place I'm gonna be gluing fabric, okay. You will see in a minute that for paper it will be different. I will flip this over and I will cover this side. Okay, so this is the first important tip. Okay, so let's say here is my piece already covered with uh, fabric. Look at, I found this fabric, it is just perfect size. Okay, and well, how did I glue this everything here? You may remember I made last year before Christmas, I made this notepad cover here. It was in this position, okay? It opened like that to put the notepad cover here with elastic instead of the pockets I'm making today. And so the outside is exactly the same. Doesn't matter if it's in this position or in this position, okay? So just because I don't want to take too long today, if you don't know, if you are following my work, and you don't know how to cover this here, you know, cover this part with fabric, just, you know, go to my free online class or I think this video is also in my YouTube channel or go to my website, okay? I'll put the link in, link in the description of the video. So it's very detailed, that video, and then you can see everything how to do that, okay? Just because I want to, we have a lot of things to show today, okay? So once I'm here with my piece done here, covered with fabric in this, the outside, okay? Now we have to um, cut, what as I always say, we need to fold the sides, right? Okay, to cover and have a good finishing. But what's happened when I do that, I have too much fabric on my corner and you know that's not good for a good finishing on my corner. So for this thing here, you may know I have you know the corner tool, I pick my corner tool here, so I have my corner tool, okay, and we, what we do, we always put my corner tool right here on the side, okay, and then we go with the rotary cutter, and then we cut like this, right, okay, so that what we always, uh, always do, we cut the cor four corners, if you don't have this tool, that video with the notepad and the others I show how to do, you're gonna be actually cutting this and leaving a small space there. We don't go all the way. You kind of try to keep 45 degrees and leave a small space here, okay? So you can cut with scissor if you don't have the corner tool, okay? This is the perfect tool to have a good corners. So once I have this done, we cut everything here. Okay, it's time to fold the sides and have a good corners, right? Remember? So I will do that very quick if you don't, if you don't remember how to do that, just go quick to my online class again. Okay, so we will spread the glue all over the long edge and we go with glue on the sides, on the corners that we need to do. Then you pick your spatula, you go under and you bring out the way and then you press here, and then you press here, okay? Then you repeat for the other side, do exactly the same, apply glue on the edge, apply glue on the sides here on the fabric, yeah? press, bring, bring, bring your fabric tight, this is important, and then you press the corners, and then you press the corner. Yeah? And then you go here, and then you go here. Uh-huh, to finish this. So I spread the glue in this part. I don't go over the fabric, but I go here and here. Good. And put under and drink and drink. Okay. And then I have my good corners. Okay, here I have there. And then I'll just need to finish the other side. There we 
we go. So here I have the outside of my cover ready, okay? And we need to finish the inside. Let's see very quick how to do it. Okay, the, just let's finish inside with fabric, okay? Pretty quick because I know, you know, as I said, I have other lots of videos showing that. Okay, so once I have this, this is my inside. And I need to cover a piece of craft paper that will fit exactly here, okay, inside. I forgot to tell about this in the beginning. Uh, well, but for the fabric, uh, for the fabric option, we need this size of craft paper. That is the same um, dimension, so it's six one fourth by kind of three inches here. Okay. So you do that. You will kind of, you know, apply glue all over here on the back. Okay. I said I will not be doing that, but of course I cannot. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. I need to use my roller, so I always put glue there and roll a little bit to make sure I have glue there. Okay, so this is the piece I have to glue all over here. Okay, and then I'm gonna be putting this right there in the middle. Just make sure you can fold, it's all covered. So, this is how we cover with fabric. The spine internal okay and we are using fabric so I need masking tape because fabric with fabric don't go you know directly okay so here it's what I have good 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 so now as I did my spine already make sure it's very well glue I need to do the sides okay so one of the sides is here already done okay I did uh, the poster board let go in parts so I had one piece of poster board remember I just covered in fabric I cut the fabric like half an inch bigger I did the corner on the top here on the bottom I just cut straight with the poster board because I'm gonna be doing the pocket and I'll show how to do the pocket good so this is here one part and the pocket it's gonna be the other piece of uh, poster board you glue fabric half an inch bigger fold here on the top okay and then let's see how to build the pocket so you put both both pieces together okay so I have the poster board with the unfinished part put the other piece on the top flip over and match you're gonna be matching the pieces here okay uh, well and then I need to cut those corners you can use whatever tool you have. If, again, if you don't have that tool, just go ahead and use cut with scissor. Good. And then they are all together. Then you go there and you glue the two sides first. That's the way I like to do. Okay. Here. Very good. And then you spread there and here. I'm almost finishing here. I just I will just start with the pattern paper. Don't if you are interested in in seeing that, you know, stay with me. I really want to show you the differences. Okay, then here I have my piece with my pocket. Okay. Then something important I really like to, to say. Sometimes when you do that in your corner and you are using, you know, not chipboard, uh, you have like a sticky corner there that you don't like then I just go and cut with scissor just that small piece that if I look in my front and I see that something is wrong sometimes it depends on the fabric it happens okay so what I'm gonna do now uh, I'm not finished here but you apply glue all over here and then you're gonna be gluing let me see it's this way okay so this is your front, okay? We're gonna be gluing this here, the other one I made right here. Imagine I apply glue all over, I put them here. So after gluing, after gluing, okay, you're gonna put masking tape all around, all around, okay? Imagine I glue, and that post, uh, that cover will fit, you know, two um, notepads here inside. 
Very good. Okay, so after doing that, I always like to put something heavy over, like I put a book over, and I keep like five or six hours till it will be like very well dry. And then you can remove the masking tape and use that piece. Okay, so that's the way we're gonna be. That's the way we can cover with fabric. And again, as I said, I have more videos showing this. Uh, my intention today is kind of go a little bit deeper in the uh, mixed one with fabric and paper. Okay, so we're gonna be repeating some of these steps in a minute. Okay, good. So now let's see how to cover using fabric in pattern paper, you know, uh, to cover the outside and make the inside uh, everything. I hope you like this because, you know, I have uh, some of my students a lot <laughs> actually have asked how if they can like use my kids to cover in paper and uh, yes, we can, but there are some differences, I would say. So that let's say I said, let me make a video so I can show you better what, well, that's the way I would do if I would be covering this piece with fabric, uh, with paper instead, okay? If you know how to do it and uh, using another technique, that's, you know, just perfect. You know, some, fa some papers are better to wrap, you know, in cover pieces like that, to make book covers and boxes are more like how can I say appropriate for that? There is a whole bunch of cartonage covered in paper. Uh, I'm, it's not the one I used to do. I uh, normally I use you know fabric covered. So I have a friend that is very that knows you know and do a lot of cartonage covered in paper. If you are more interested like in learning more with uh, papers that are more appropriate for that, you can contact Nancy. Uh, she is on the other side of the Lake Michigan. <laughs> okay, I will put the description, uh, her contact in the description of the this video. Okay, well, here is one piece that I have covered all over with paper, okay, outside. What's happened here? You know, it's paper and then depends on the paper, it may crack here in the spine normally, right? Here on the corners, I have also covered some of my boxes like this and I know it will crack. Depends on the paper, depends on the way you are making. Chances are that some will not, but some will. So that's why I prefer not to use paper here in the spine in this way. Okay, so that's, and I do love mixing paper with fabric. I like the texture, I like, you know, the feeling, I like the, how it, it will, you know, how it is. So let's go and see how to do this way, okay? Normally, there are a lot of, you know, uh, books that are like this. They use book cloth here and then they cover the rest with paper. You probably already saw that. And then uh, you can buy book cloth. I have one here that is also a piece that I bought at, you know, maybe Michael's or Joanne, there's Recollections, this linen, okay? So basically it's paper, a little bit of paper, with, um, fabric with paper on the back, very thin, and then we can use that for the spine. As I have tons of fabric at home, <laughs> I don't want to buy book club. For those for all those projects we can make our own okay so how do I do that I'm gonna use craft paper you can use copy paper you can use construction paper you can use any other piece of um, paper that you want in my piece of fabric okay I'm gonna be using let me show you this beautiful hope you can see this beautiful paper here for the cover okay the front of my cover so Let's see. I already have this done, okay, as I showed you before. Now, as I said, here's the tip. We're gonna be covering this side here and not the front, not this here, the one with the craft paper. And this fabric is to cover right here on the center, okay? I prefer to glue it on another piece of paper instead of going directly there. It gives me a little bit more, it's a little bit more sturdy. So you just spread, you can again use your acid free glue or you can use, I'm using glue all, I'm fine, I'm okay with that. 
I have tested this for a long time. I have pieces more than five years that are perfectly. So I'm not making those pieces to last like 100 years. <laughs> so I'm okay using my glue wall. If you prefer your prep, your acid free, feel free. Okay, I think lots of things are kind of personal choices, okay? So here is my, my piece of fabric, paper packet, okay? And then what I can have do now, I actually this, um, you can see here it's bigger. So this piece of craft paper is bigger because I want that to go over my cover here, right? So if I had here six and a half, here my piece is probably around seven inches more seven almost eight inches okay and I will be gluing right here in the middle so I'm gonna be spreading the glue right directly there okay make sure you have a good especially if you are starting using your glue and like winter is coming so it's more difficult in the beginning but that's just like that okay once you apply that glue you put there your piece you just have to make sure okay this is better you can see from this side press okay and press very well if you want to glue this very well aligned okay I just didn't think about it you can make a line and glue it very well aligned we're gonna be gluing something over here okay so once I did that I like to go here on the bottom okay you spread your glue in this part a little bit inside here and you can bring with your spatula or with your um, bone folder make sure you you can you know do this okay fold your piece that's the way press a little bit inside your inside your gap so you have that space better okay and then you do the same here on the other side and then press a little and press a little Okay, so now I have my piece, um, my cover with the spine in cloth, okay, in fabric, the color you want, you know, any color you prefer, okay. So now I need to glue the sides and then I decided to go with this paper this side and the other paper on the other side. Okay, that's gonna be that's gonna be like this in a minute so here we have some choices you can like just glue this straight here and then if you like like I did here you know I just glue my paper straight here that's okay okay I liked it if you don't like you can glue some embellishment over like a ribbon or embellishment or you can do like this part here if you use a punch right I really like that I really like that you know look so um, I do that in mine now okay then let me use this uh, punch here a little bit okay so now I have my paper I did the trim here that I want okay and this is the front I will be using so I'm gonna spread the glue right here in this part of the chipboard. I don't go over this fabric, only here. Okay, you can do a little bit more. Just make sure you have all over here. Okay, all over here, spread. Okay, there. And then I go over this part of the paper. Okay. So what paper to use? Okay, so I'm using one here that is not too thick. Okay, I just spread this part there. Okay, so I'm gonna be aligning my piece here using my um, 
cutting board to help me with the lines, okay? And I will be aligning this and this part here. Okay, so this and this, okay, and then that's it. Okay. Then I will flip over and you go careful, gentle, if you have a piece of claw, you can do that over as well, okay? That's pretty good. So you can see your piece of paper, it's bigger, of course, than your cover. Do the corners. Okay, I'm gonna do this right here, apply here. Don't forget to put glue there. Actually with paper it's not completely necessary as it is in fabric to put that here. You can use your spatula if you want, if you have a bone folder, it's also good. Okay, it's up to you. Okay, then you go here and glue there. Uh, after finishing this, I will be showing you some boxes that I made using kind of things like this, okay? Okay, okay, okay guys, so you can see here beautiful corners, good. And so now that will be the front of my notepad. Oh, really love it, okay? Very good. So now I have to glue the other piece right here, that is my back, okay? So the same way, I will be, let me see what is the part. So here I spread glue, I will not um, cut there. And of course, how far you go over the fabric is your choice. You can go all the way, you can just you know, you can go with this almost there in the spine, you can go more here, it's up to you. Just make sure you don't go with your paper over some glue in this scrap paper, okay? Again, if you have, I know lots of you like to use, you know, tape. Uh, I have not tried it, but you could try, okay, if you want. So I'm gonna just go a little bit here and kind of more on the edge. And here I go out the way again because it's dry already. Okay, then I'm sorry, I have to find the position for this. Okay, let me align there. This spine, I'm gonna be aligning there. And then my paper. Oh my gosh, here is my beautiful bed okay, cover. I really love, that's why I love using fabric. You can use some beautiful colors, you know, coordinating. Of course, with paper I also can, but I know it will last more than if I do only paper, right? Okay, so this is the inside. This is the outside ready. This is my inside so far. So let's see how to finish inside. Well, what I'm planning to do with this cover is, you know, one of the sides I want to have my um, notepad cover like this, okay, so I need a pocket on the side. And on the other side, this is another 4x6, but this is post-it, okay? Uh, so I can just glue, because this is very thin, it will not in, stay kind of stable inside the pocket. So I'm gonna apply glue later and I will be gluing here. Of course, I need some finishing before, but that's, that's my plan, okay? So I need one side, there will be the pocket, the other side, no pocket, and I need to cover the middle, okay? Here in the center, I like to cover, I use the paper 
here. Okay, so let's go. I just cut here a piece of the same uh, paper of the outside. Okay, let me see here what is the position. So this is my front. This will be gluing here. So inside, this is um, the same uh, height of my pieces that go on the sides. So that's gonna be one side. I choose to use the craft paper, the craft cardstock, okay? So I put one each side, okay? And in the middle gonna be like this, okay? So make sure your uh, piece of paper in the middle is the same height, yeah? And less than that. Okay, I usually do six one fourth for a cover that is uh, six and a half. Okay, good. So let me see. Here is my piece. The first things first, I need to apply this glue, glue here and put there. Just spread all over, make sure it's not a lava of glue, okay, but you have to do all over and you don't, you know, damage the front of your piece. So here you go, you just put there on the middle and what I like to do, I like to align the center first, okay, align the center first, press over your center on your spine, okay, and then I go very careful and gentle inside this gap, okay? So that's the way I'm doing. Very gentle and then you glue this part, okay? And then just make sure you press very well. Good. And here, the same. Before going there, you go very gentle inside your gap. And then you cover here, okay? Press, press, press. That will allow my cover, you know, to open and close very well and be very well glued. Again, I love using my claw over it so it's not damaging my paper. Okay, so now I have my outside done, I have my inside done, and then I have to do the sides. So as I said, one of the sides, I only do the... Um, craft paper, let's do the right side. Okay, so here again, very important, your scrap of paper here cannot be wet with glue because that will, you know, damage here. So, uh, I, you can go more like a little bit here and go outside there, it's another way of doing. You will spread very well in the middle and then you go here, hold in the middle and go all the way like this. Okay, so you make sure you have glue out on the edges of this paper. Okay, and you also have glue there in the middle where I need. Okay, so you put there your piece of paper right there and align. Okay, so I use my claw again, I love it. You can use your um, bone folder as well, all over, okay. And glue here, good. So I have one of the sides that is ready. And we are almost done. I want to show you how to do the pocket uh, with paper. Okay, so you can use only the paper you want and then I would recommend if it's something very thin like this, I would fold in half so you cut bigger and then you fold in half to have the size of the pocket you want. Uh, another thing I can do, you know, with with papers and I like to do, like all my kids come with poster board, okay, so instead of measuring the the pattern paper, I use the poster board, okay? And I cover the poster board the same way I cover my fabric with fabric. So uh, I will have the size I want, okay? And it's more sturdy. So that's something you can do. So let's see this piece here, the pocket. As before, I have here 
So I'm gonna be gluing right there in the middle of the poster board. The, in the middle of the paper that I want, okay, for my pocket. It's here. Good. So now it's as I did before, okay, with fabric. So we spread the glue right here on the top. So let's say, uh, I will show you a few boxes, as I said, so you see, for the outside we use poster board with fabric, you can also use poster board, you know, like this with paper and it's gonna be more sturdy, okay? But if you are using like cardstock, 100 pounds or things like that, then you don't need them. Now, this is the piece that the cardstock here, the craft cardstock is going to be there and then here is the piece for the pocket. Exactly as I did before for the uh, fabric. I'm going to be flipping this over, putting them together. Okay. I like to kind of fold a little bit before applying glue in paper. It's just my preference. Okay. Here and here. Okay, so now I'm gonna just put here. If you know how to do a pocket in a different way, you know, just go ahead and do it. You know, it's it's not what I say, it's not wrong and right, right? It's we can just have fun here. Fabric glue on the spatula, clean, because it's gonna be, you know, putting glue in your project and you don't like that. Okay, so this is only one way, as I was saying, there's only one way of doing pockets. If you know, there's so many other ways. You can do whatever you want. But that's completely enough for what I need, right? So here you go. Okay. And then I just need to glue it right there, the same way I did before. So again, my scrap paper is full of glue and flip over. Okay. Another way of gluing this is instead of gluing here and just a little bit on the sides, you can also go all over this part. I kind of like more, so you, but you have to make sure you not move this piece, okay? Hold very tight because otherwise your front will be with glue and you don't want that, okay? But clean your fingers, clean your fingers, okay? Then you put right there where you want. A line there, okay. A line, and then you go and press. So, I don't know if you notice something different again, but remember when we cover with fabric, we put masking tape all around, right? Because fabric with fabric needs masking tape to glue together for some time, to stay together. And here is the one with paper, it's done. I don't need masking tape because paper with paper glues, you know, very fast. So I would put something heavy as well, okay, because it's not dry, it's wet. I put like one piece there. I like to put another copy, the scrap of paper there just to help. And a heavy book over. So what's gonna happen here, your piece will dry flat and will dry, you know, very well and uh, after maybe two or three hours it's done if you like the idea of having fun using fabric and paper in your projects take a look at other projects i have done like that this is a book where i use it fabric for the spine and paper for the rest here are a few boxes with mini albums that i made using imitation sweat or bokla for the spine and paper for the rest so fun with creativity, you can decorate these pieces a lot, right? And how about a desk calendar? This box I made out of one of my do-it-yourself kits covering only with paper. Isn't beautiful and unique? I also have played with imitation sweat, imitation leather, cork paper, and other book cloths for the spine and interior of some other notepad covers. So, take your time and have fun playing! I hope you like the idea of having fun with paper, fabric and glue and, you know, make this functional notepad cover. Cartonnage is a great technique, you know, to use fabric or, you know, as you see, pattern paper, you know, in a different and unique way and make, you know, one-of-a-kind handmade gifts. So if you want to know more about this technique, check my website, colorwayarts.com. 
I also have one online school, so you can learn from your home. Uh, go to my website and start from there. I love to hear from you if you, you know, have questions or want to send me pictures of your pet covers. Uh, you can contact me direct on my website or comment below. If you have friends that, you know, may like to make a project like this, please share with them. It's, you know, always better having fun with friends. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you another day. Bye! Happy crafting time!